I'm here in London's Soho neighborhood outside the Jon Snow pub. I've come back here because, like many of us, I've been thinking a lot about epidemic disease over the last few months because of the Ebola crisis. And I've come back here because this is a very important spot in the history of, of our battle against disease because it was here in 1854 that Jon Snow began an investigation of the most densely concentrated and most terrifying cholera outbreak in the history of London. Um, he went out and made a map, basically, that documented where everyone had died over the course of this outbreak. So 18 people died in just two weeks at that building right there. Three died there, four died there. In these buildings across the street, 11 people died in just two weeks. And by making this map, he showed that there was a cluster of death around a pump that was right here where I'm standing, where people would get their drinking water. And that proved to the authorities for the first time that cholera was in the water and not in the air. And what I find so interesting about this is that here we are 160 years later, and because we don't have yet a functional vaccine to, to, to ward off diseases like Ebola, the primary tool that we are using to fight this new outbreak is still the simple map. Today, our primary line of defense against this outbreak is making maps of where people have gotten sick, following social contagion paths and figuring out who has had contact with whom and what places, and quarantining the people that have been exposed. So here we are 160 years later with all of our technology and we're still fighting disease with maps.